Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on our second piece for our Agama graph, inspired by the Israeli artist Yaakov Agam. So as you know, we talked about this in class, we are gonna be looking at the juxtaposition of opposites for the left and right in our Agama graph. So we've talked about this in class a little bit. We have the two pieces um, that I showed you. So black polka dots, with a primarily white background and then white stripes with a primarily black background. So they're playing off each other with the opposites. And then we've talked about how these are gonna kind of collide and come together to create a very colorful piece that will be in the middle. So we're creating an agamograph that is going to be made out of three separate pieces. So let's go ahead and talk about this one, which means I'm gonna be putting this one aside. Okay, so the materials you're going to need, we always wanna go over those first. You're gonna need a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser if your pencil doesn't happen to have an eraser. Okay, so this is where we're headed. Yours does not need to be identical to this. Okay, this is an example. Um, if you have a different idea that's like drastically different or you just wanna change it in some way, talk to me. Odds are it's gonna be perfectly fine, um, but it's always good to check in and make sure it'll work with the piece that we're working on. Okay, so I'm gonna move this off to the side, but you've had a good view of kind of what it looks like. We have a variety of different sizes of white stripes, and then um, the majority of the area is colored in black. Okay, so here's how I did that. The first thing you're going to do is you're actually gonna turn your paper so that it is in landscape orientation. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna take your ruler and you are going to be using the inches side. Okay, we don't want to be using centimeters. That's gonna throw off our measurement for now. Okay, so I am going to take my ruler and I am going to put it at the top of the paper with the, we've talked about this a lot lately. We've been doing a lot with measurement, the black line lining up with the edge of the paper because that is where the measurement starts on this ruler, okay? All right, now what I am going to do is I am going to mark every inch. I know that some of us are still having a hard time with measurement, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer for you so that you can really hopefully see my ruler clearly. Let me straighten this out a little bit. Okay. You can see that pretty clearly now. All right, so I have that black line lined up with the edge of my paper. Let's get a, rid of that glare. And then what I'm going to do is mark every inch. This is exactly 12 inches, so it should be pretty easy. We're gonna find the one. And we are going to mark at this black line directly following the one. I'm gonna do the same thing for the two, the three, the four, so again, the long black line directly behind it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And again, if I go too fast, you know that you can slow the video down, pause it, rewind it. You have all those tools that you can use to uh, make sure that you understand what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my ruler off and I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, lining that black line up with the edge of the paper and I am going to mark every inch one, the long black line directly following it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom back out and see what this looks like. But, okay, so what you'll see is there are inch marks all along the side. That's gonna help us to start setting up our stripes. So I'm gonna go ahead and very lightly with a pencil, and you'll notice when I say lightly how high my hand is up on my pencil, so I'm not holding it down here, I'm not trying to strangle my pencil and press really hard. I have a light grip and it's at the top of my pencil. Okay, so 
now I have 12 equally spaced sections. However, when you look at this one, in order for us to end up with something that has the majority of the paper being black, we're gonna have to adjust these lines. So you can see that my lines on this one don't 100% match up with this, and these lines are certainly not all even. They span in measurement, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. So this one in particular is about a quarter of an inch. It's a little bit bigger than that. This one, is half an inch. Okay, so we have a variety happening here. Quarter of an inch there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna think about how I want to start this. Do I want to put in some skinny lines? Do I want to put in some thick lines? So I wanna start with my top being heavy in the use of black. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with my Sharpie and I'm going to color in that section. So I'm gonna grab some Sharpie and show you how to do this. Okay, so I've got my nice big fat Sharpie and because I want this top really heavy with black, I'm actually gonna use the two inch mark for this. So I am gonna go ahead and line my ruler up along that pencil line and then I am going to carefully go right along that edge so I get a nice clean line. So when I take this off, I've got a really nice clean line, okay? And what I'm gonna do is color this in. I'm gonna speed this up in the video for you. Um, so clearly it'll be slower in real life, faster in the video. Okay, so now if, or I should say, when you're working, you probably want to have a placemat underneath this. I have a special way of cleaning off my desk, so I don't do that. But um, at your tables, you're gonna wanna have a mat underneath that. Okay, so we can see that I've started with really heavy black section, and then I can choose to increase the size of the black, decrease it, but the next thing I want to do is have um, a skinny white line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to turn this on the side for you so that it's easier for you to see. I'm going to line this up with the black line I just drew, and I want this to be about a quarter of an inch. So remember how we talked about you can find um, half an inch by counting to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's half. So a quarter would be four. So you're gonna count one, two, three, four, and mark it. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here. I'm gonna line this black edge up with there. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. Okay, then what I'm going to do is using my ruler, I am going to connect those two marks that I just made on my paper. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this white and then I'm gonna color this black. Now, you could change the width of this, so if you wanted to do a half an inch or you wanna leave it an inch, you can. But the point is that you want to end up with a variety of different size um, white stripes and that you want the majority of the paper to actually be black. So let's go ahead and watch how to do this again and then of course I'm going to speed up the actual coloring part in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, I'm going to line it up here with that line I just drew. I'm going to hold that in place as I go along the edge. And the reason I'm doing that is if I tried to freehand it, it would probably be a little bit shaky. So using the ruler just helps to have um, keep that line nice and neat. I turned my paper. We talked about how turning your paper to think about the angles you're better working at is always a good idea. And I'm gonna line this up with that pencil line again. And I am going to set that up. Okay, so then I'm gonna color this in. Again, I'm gonna fast forward that in the video for you. Okay, 
So now I have a choice. Do I want to leave this whole section the same width that it is and leave this one inch? Do I want to break it up? What do I want to do? So I think just for the sake of variety, I have a pretty skinny one right here. I am going to leave this the full section. So that's going to be a full inch. So that means, again, I'm just going to take my ruler and my Sharpie. I'm going to line that up with my pencil line. And I'm going to just drag that along there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Lining it up with the pencil. And again, I'm going to fast forward through all of the coloring in this video. So next I need a white line. I can decide to make a thicker white section or a skinnier one. Um, I wouldn't do much bigger than this because we want the majority of the paper to be black. So I'm going to go with a different measurement this time. So I did a quarter, one inch, and I think what I'll do here is I'll do a half an inch. So I'm going to turn my paper so that you can see this because this is how I would do it. I am going to line this up with the black line that I just colored in. And remember that you can count if you're having trouble finding a half an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make a mark. Slide down. Line this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lightly connect with your pencil. So I'm gonna leave this section white. Now, that doesn't mean this has to be black. It could be, or what I'm going to do is I just want this to have some variety of different sized white stripes. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna essentially take this whole section right here and I'm gonna color all of this in black, okay? So I'm gonna take my ruler, Line it up. Press down firmly with your Sharpie. Get a nice clean line. Line up your ruler. Do the same thing. Color this in. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. And I'm gonna make a little bit more variety in this next section. So again, we want some variety of different size lines, different placement, but we wanna make sure that the majority of the paper is colored in black. So I'm gonna do a couple of um, quarter inch marks. So I'm gonna line this up with a black line and I'm gonna count four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make a mark. And then what I'm gonna do is count four again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so essentially I have a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, four quarters and a dollar, four quarters and an inch. Okay, so we're gonna come down here and do the same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to connect those marks. Okay, so you have some choices to make. So you can follow along exactly with me or you can be making changes here and there. Again, with the thought being that the majority of the paper needs to be white, or I mean the majority of the paper should be black, okay? Um, because we want it to play nicely as having that juxtaposition against the spots, okay? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, again, line my ruler up with my pencil line and I am going to use my Sharpie. Now you'll see that that pretty much filled that whole section. So you're gonna wanna be careful with that. And then I'm gonna turn my paper this way 
and do the same thing. For me, a lot of the turning the paper is that um, it is easier for my left hand to hold the ruler and to be working on the right hand side of the ruler because I'm right handed. So if you notice me turning the paper a lot with the ruler, that is why. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one white and I'm gonna do the next one black. You could leave this whole section white and then later go back in and erase that pencil line. Totally your call. But just to create a little bit more variety, I'm gonna do this. So again, the reason I turned it is so that my ruler stays in my left hand and my mark making is to the right of the ruler. Okay. Now, I can leave this white. I could color it black. I can change the dimensions. Um, I think I may leave it white and then I'm going to, I think, color at least a thicker one in black. So I think I'm going to do these next two lines solid black. So here's my paper. <clears throat> now I could obviously adjust the bottom if I wanted to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it alone. So in your paper, I would say for the sake of variety and interest that you definitely want to have at least three different size white sections. So let's see if I did that. I have a quarter of an inch, one inch, half an inch, Okay, so I do have three different sizes. Mine are primarily a quarter of an inch, one inch, and half an inch. Now you could change that. You could have a section that's three quarters of an inch, that's fine. But remember, the majority of the paper needs to be colored in black. So let's go ahead and see if I zoom out a little bit. So we can see that these are similar, um, and yet they're not identical. So both of them are fine. Both of them will work for this project. Um, yours does not have to match exactly, clearly, um, but again, remember to keep in mind that you want three different size white sections minimum and that the majority of the paper should be colored black. All right, we'll see what you create.